Hey everybody, today we are talking pasta. Oh, the best. Ooh. And we are going around Los Angeles to each of our favorite spots for the tastiest pasta dish in all of LA. pasta. Who doesn't want a big bowl of pasta when you come home from work, am I right? The tastiest pasta in LA is at Scope Italian Roots in Venice and it is the rigatoni alla vodka. Chef Antonio follows the Italian rule, which is to say less is more. It's really well balanced, you get a little spice, you get this pepperiness from the garlic, you get creaminess from the cheeses. There's whole tomatoes in it to add this really great texture. The rigatoni has these great ridges which collect the sauce and it just makes it the perfect dish. So when you first take that bite of rigatoni, the sauce kind of washes over you. It feels like Chef Antonia is giving you a hug. I am Antonia Lafaso. I'm the executive chef here at Scopa Italian Roots, and I'm going to make my rigatoni alla vodka. Here, we're gonna start with a little bit of butter and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. What the olive oil is going to do, A, is add flavor, but yep. B, it's not gonna allow the butter to cook as, or as brown. I don't sure. want it to brown, okay. I just kinda want it to melt. Instead of just doing a chopped garlic, we do three blanched garlic, so oh, we, we, blanch bring, them. we blanch the garlic because then it makes it sweet instead of making it like spicy yep. and garlicky. And then we're gonna add a little bit of chili. You wanna add chili and garlic to fat only because you really want to make sure um, that it blooms and, not, and it doesn't boil. So we're gonna add a little bit of the vodka to that. And then I'm gonna add cherry tomatoes. And I want these to break down, but then I do want them a little whole. You're just adding more fresh tomato flavor because you've got a cooked tomato product totally. and then a fresh tomato product. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna build our sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of the San Marzano tomato. Okay. We're gonna add some cream. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of chicken stock to thin it out. Because we don't want this to be like an overly chunky sauce. Yep. And then we also want the pasta to cook in there. So let that come together. And then we're trying to just push it off to the side, let it sit. Sure. And then we're gonna cook our pasta. Great. This pasta, because it's a fresh product, is gonna take a lot less, but it's gonna yep. take about four or five minutes in the water. I feel like she should be here with like a glass of wine and I mean... like Okay, so a little bit of pasta water goes okay, in. Okay, so from only there. a few drops. Only a few drops. I can always get it to come back like that if I need it. Okay. Now we're gonna take the Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. And then what I was saying before is just adding mm -hmm some fresh parsley, and then some fresh petite basil wow. to it. And I want to take it off the heat now. Okay. I'm gonna just let it wilt in there, just like that. And it's hot, be careful. Hands down, we want I'm, we're, we're done. So, just when you thought it was over. I feel like I know what's coming and I feel really excited. <laughs> <laughs> you do know what's coming. <laughs> just a little bit of ricotta. It's gonna go right on top. Again, it's all about the small touches. Oh, wow. A little bit of Malden on each piece of the ricotta, and then, again, just a little bit of the olive oil. I'm gonna do just a little bit of fresh petite basil. There's your pasta. Probably the prettiest thing that's ever been before me. Yep, I you're just like saying mine. that. You didn't pick me. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we might now. Maybe We're going in. Okay. I feel like a lot of the time when I have vodka sauce, mm -hmm. the tomato gets really lost in the cream. But this is perfect. It's like, and you get these pieces of tomato in here. The whole tomato really. Yeah, you, know, you don't lose that acidity. It like yep. pops really nicely. There's a lot going on for sure. It all comes together and just like has a baby in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and also the basil totally. adds some freshness. It's it's really exceptional. Like, yeah, they're nailing that rigatoni. Oh boy. Like, yep. I would like some more. Scopa was a beautiful restaurant, and that rigatoni alla vodka was delicious. But it is not the tastiest pasta in Los Angeles. The tastiest pasta in LA is the tortellini and bretto al contrario, being served by Chef Zach Pollock at Alimento. For those who aren't familiar, there is a Chinese soup dumpling called Xiaolong Bao. And what Chef Zach has done is he's taken all these flavors of this classic Italian dish, and he has put them into this form of a soup dumpling. The first thing that happens when you bite into the tortellini is there's this rush of hot broth into your mouth that pops out of the pasta. You get these flavors of Parmesan, prosciutto, chicken, butter. It's all just, it's all there and it all works together. It's not like anything else you've ever had before. I'm Zach Pollock and I'm the chef of uh, Alimento and Silver Lake and today we're making tortellini brodo al contrario. 
So we're gonna start by rolling out our egg dough pasta. Okay. Got a little nifty machine here. Is this a fairly traditional pasta? You're not reinventing the wheel here? We're definitely not reinventing the wheel. It's, it's egg heavy in the sort of Northern Italian style. So there's a combination of whole eggs and yolks. Okay. So we're gonna knead it through a few times so they get the right texture. All right, so now we got that. A little bit of flour on the bottom. We have our, our filling here. Okay, so and what is in this magical tube? There is a really rich brodo, okay. a stock made from chicken feet, chicken bones, beef shank, and prosciutto hocks. Okay, not just chicken stock. <laughs> not just chicken stock, no. So now I fold this over, seal it on the sides first, and now I'm gonna go seal the top part, but as I do, so I'm not pushing any more air in, I'm gonna put my fingers on the side. So now we're gonna cut it, and now we'll do the same thing on the top. Okay. And if I align them right, I'll be able to just make one cut for both of them. So now we're gonna shape them. So yeah. we just kind of wrap them, similar to like making an actual tortellino, where mm -hmm. you might wrap it around a different, a smaller digit. Okay. In this case, this is a bigger noodle, we wrap it around the thumb. Okay. So I'm gonna start the butter sauce here, and it consists of yes. butter and water. I'll, you know, we'll season it, put a little That's all salt. you need. Uh, a little bit of water here. And just move that off the heat for a second. We'll cook our pasta. With a little stir so nothing sticks to the bottom. It'll probably take about two minutes maybe. And then what do we have here? And here is our prosciutto and panna sauce. So this is okay. some dried porcini mushrooms that we cooked down with shallots. Okay. Some diced prosciutto cotto, right. Italian ham basically. So we're floating, which is good. Straight into the butter sauce. Right into the butter sauce. We'll finish them gently in the sauce. Like I said, it's not one of those pastas you want to beat up. Okay, now we'll add our cheese off the heat. You never want to add cheese on the heat if you could become stringy. Put down a little bit of this sauce. Pretty rich, so not too much. Now our pasta. You guys hungry yet? Really? And now we'll finish with a little grater bar. And you gotta eat these while they're hot, so I suggest you all take your seats. All right, you guys ready for this? Okay. I mean, no, but yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so, honestly, when it just explodes in right? your mouth, I don't think I've ever had anything happen to me like that before. Well, you don't, the thing is, you don't even have to bite it, it's so tender. It just, Oh, or pop it. Yeah, you can just kind of pop it with your tongue, and then, and then, it, it, and then you get the chew of the you pasta. You get the chew, but then it goes all over your mouth, and it's like Yum. this salty, savory, mm -hmm. well, swampy And it's funny, goodness. like, it's deceptive. I've always loved food that's, like, got a little secret. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. It yeah. does. Yeah. I, I only want to eat this pasta for the rest of my life. What up? What the f dude? Yeah. I need to eat that. Oh, is it for you guys? Yes. Oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. All right, get Dude, in here, get, get in, in here. here. Darling, the tortellini. Oh my God, I'm still trying to recover. But we're off to my place now. The tastiest pasta in Los Angeles, California is the spaghetti and meatballs at Little Dom's in Los Files, Los Angeles. When you take a bite of this amazing spaghetti and meatballs, you have that delicious al dente pasta that's gonna give you that nice bite. And then the simplicity of that amazing tomato sauce. How can I forget about that meat? Made with only beef and pork, the fat from both of those, ah, it just all comes together and makes the most fabulous dish. Hi, I'm Brandon Boudet, the chef and owner of Little Dom's Restaurant, and I'm gonna show you how to make Little Dom's spaghetti and meatballs. We're just extruding some uh, fresh pasta, making some spaghetti. All of this is two ingredients. Can you guess? Flour <laughs> and eggs. Or water. Water. It's semolina flour and water to make a nice, hearty, sturdy spaghetti. Yep. We use imported Italian San Marzano tomatoes, and all we do is rice them, meaning that we put them through a food mill. Here, you want to try it? Do I just pour it in? Yeah, just dump it in. We like to do it this way. It doesn't incorporate a bunch of air into it if you threw it into a, a food processor or a blender. We take uh, basil, oregano, um, a little bit of garlic, and we just put that in a little sachet and simmer this all for about three hours. Our meatballs are pretty straightforward. I like a mixture of pork and beef, but the one little trick that we like to put in there is a little porcini powder. It gives it that little earthiness. We just like to do a very simple, mm -hmm. just like this, round it off, one, two, three, ah. ready to go. So about how long do you bake them for? Um, right around 25 minutes. Okay. At a low 275, 325. And then the magic happens. Yeah, magic. Damn. <laughs> nice. That same meatball mixture we use to make meat sauce. So take a couple spoonfuls, throw it in there, saute off that meat, break it up a little bit, and then all we're gonna do is add that tomato sauce to it. How long does this cook for? Um, three hours. The pasta we just made, okay? Going into some hot boiling water. It's probably only gonna take four or five minutes max. We're gonna grab some meat sauce. I see some meatballs in there too. Yeah. Just a little bit of butter to it. 
Check on the pasta. Yeah, it's totally done. Look at that flip. The magic. And that baby is done, ready to go into the bowl. Mm. This is just what we needed. It's no bull mm -hmm. It's straight up spaghetti and meatballs. It like makes me jealous that I didn't grow up in like a big Italian family. The noodles too, so perfect. Perfectly cooked. And the sauce, it's just, it's really well balanced. The sauce, the cheese, the meat. Its strength is in its simplicity, right? Not to say and that there's no subtlety, like there's yeah. a little, there's like a little kick of pepper, mm -hmm. like oh, underneath, yeah. like you can feel there's a little bit of heat in that sauce. Totally. It's like the tiniest hint of the herbs in the in the meatball, but it's not overwhelming. Also, the size of the meatballs. Yeah. Mm. Too big, overwhelming. Too small, underwhelming. Perfect I medium mean, size. And you wash it down with this delicious Little Dom's wine. This is the hardest one for me so far. I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah. I don't either. Little Dom's was so good. It felt like you're going home. I do think that Scopa is sort of hitting similar notes. It's it felt so like creamy. the elevated. Yes. It was an elevated version of yeah. what Rigatoni Al Vodka can be. I think the tiebreaker for me has to be not only was that tortellini absolutely delicious and perfectly done, but it's oh. it's exciting, it's different. So I'm yeah. sticking, I'm sticking I mean, with Elmen. I mean, Go I to mean, all three of these restaurants, absolutely. first of all. Yeah. Yes. We were floored. We were. We were floored. I was speechless. So, Elemental. Yes! Elemental. Oh, you guys. Uh, hey. Finally. Shout out to Zach, honey, because whatever you are putting in them damn noodles, child, yeah. keep mm. doing it, because you're doing it right.